You know, uh, Lena, we had uh, someone write in from New York. Dana's asking about the risk assessment of the vaccine. And I want to put this in some context. We'll do some debunking of this after I read it. But she writes, if the risk to kids is low for COVID and the vaccines are barely effective, why take the risk of a vaccine side effect? So first of all, let's talk about the effectiveness of vaccines, Lena. Um, what's the difference between being uh, protected against getting the virus and being protected against getting a bad reaction to getting the virus? Well, I think we should take a step back and talk about what is the purpose of vaccination? Ultimately, the purpose of vaccination for any age is to reduce your risk of severe illness. I think we've gotten used to these COVID vaccines. Initially, when they first came out, it was more than 90% effective at preventing infection. And everybody thought, oh my goodness, that's fantastic. But actually, that's not really why we're vaccinating. We're not vaccinated to prevent you from getting a cold. We are vaccinated to turn something that could otherwise cause you to be in the hospital to turn that into a cold, right? That would be a success story. And so when we look at adults, for example, um, especially against Omicron um, and these new variants, these subvariants of Omicron, the vaccines that we have are actually much less effective at preventing disease, at preventing symptomatic disease, but they're still very effective at preventing severe illness. And I think that is what we have to keep in mind. Now, when it comes to children, we still have incomplete data about this. What Moderna has released thus far show that the efficacy in preventing any infection is on par with the uh, efficacy in preventing any infection in adults in light of Omicron, which is not as high as we would want, but ultimately, that's not necessarily what we care about. It's to prevent severe disease, which we don't have data for that for kids. But I guess to me, the risk benefit calculation looks like this. If the vaccines are safe and the side effects are things like fatigue and headache and, um, and muscle soreness at the injection site, I would much rather deal with that for a day or not at all. I mean, some, uh, many, most people actually have no side effects. Um, and so I would much rather deal with side effects like that but understanding that we are doing something, we're giving something that is safe and that can prevent the possibility of something horrible from happening, which is every parent's worst nightmare.